Hi, and welcome to the review of The Secret Order 3, Ancient Times. This is Big Mama. And if you'll notice from the get-go, you've got bonus content. And even though it looks like you can do it, you cannot actually do any of this until you complete the game. And of course, you have your options and credit and help, so let's get started. Choose your difficulty. Alright, so just to let you know, we've skipped the beginning, you can skip all the cutscenes, and your dad is stuck. Which, apparently when your dad's stuck, the best thing to do is to walk around nonchalantly and look for things. So let's do that. While I'm doing that, I'm going to let you know that instead of searching for that game to find the review, you're welcome to fo follow me on the links listed in the description on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook. Alright, so we've opened up our next room. And if you'll notice, a lot of this is looking around, just like any adventure. And you have your first puzzle. Alright, so we completed the first puzzle, and if you notice, there's not a hint here. After that first puzzle, you now have a hint. We went ahead and did this area, and then here's our first hidden object. Now if you want, you can do Mahjong instead. You can do the hidden objects, or you can do the mahjong. Now the mahjong, these are the ones you're wanting to get, these orange ones. And in fact, they will be locked until you get the ones underneath it. So like if you get all of these and there's a couple of orange ones left, they'll be locked until you get all the tiles. Oh, and also, if you run out of moves, when you run out of moves, it will reshuffle itself. So we're going to go ahead and skip through this. Alright, so we're into the hidden object, and if you notice the purple ones, the purple ones mean that you have to do something, like I had to break the glass to get to it. So, you can see we still have some more that we have to get with the coins. And we've skipped ahead some, and I'll show you the hint. The hint will jump up and do that. And there we go. We now have a key. Now you can skip all the cutscenes like I said. See how small that cutscene was? And that means your hint is ready. So we've skipped a bunch of puzzles and we've made it out of the building. And I want to show you a couple of things. Here we have a diary. Shows what you've done and what you need to do. And I'm going to show you one more thing before we take off. You get your own pet griffin. And so that is it for me. I hope this has been enough for you to decide if you'd like to play this game. And I'll see you at the next review.